Good morning, brothers and sisters. You have been buried with Christ in baptism, to which you also rose again by faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, the intention for today Mass, and we pray for the repose of the soul of Antonio G. Silva, Vesier Ignacio, Joseph, all the souls in purgatory, the intention of Robert Santos. And now let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, keep safe those reborn in Christ that, defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully persevere the grace of your blessing to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord, and with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Leda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with a request, please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and clocks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up, and when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. 
This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Alleluia. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Alleluia. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? Is it the Spirit that gave life? No, it is the Spirit that gave life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walk with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to live? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. So um, there's some theology, uh, theologians saying that for um, Catholic, you, we uh, worship our Lord, we adore our Lord, and after that, we eat our Lord. For other religions, for, for, such as um, Buddhist, Muslims, or others, um, as you name it, so they, 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 they really worship their, their gods. But for us, when we consecrated the body, the, the bread and the wine become the body and blood of Christ, we consume, we eat Jesus Christ our Lord. And some said that Catholics practicing the carbonism. But it's not, because the carbonism is that when someone eating 
the dead body of some other person, but here, the living Jesus. Jesus is living, and he especially that we would not have forced him to do so, but he willingly to give up his body for us and become spiritual food. So the gospel of today, that the continuation of yesterday, that Jesus was offering his body at the living food, whoever eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life. So it's continuation. So, so many people were listening to that and they said, this saying is hard to accept. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So therefore, some of them was leaving Jesus and go back to the former way. And this, of course, that because of they were not open the heart to accept the words of Jesus, his teaching. As Jesus said that the word I have spoken to you as spirit and life. These words are spirit and life because Jesus offered us his body and blood at eternal food for our spiritual life, for our spiritual journey. And yet, Peter, on behalf of the disciples, proclaiming, you have the word, you have the word of eternal life. It's to whom should we go? To whom should we go? So the first reading, the last sentence, that we heard, this became known to all over Joppa, and many come to believe in the Lord. And here in the gospel, we heard that so many people, because of Jesus saying that his body and blood are spiritual food, they turn away from the Lord. One is in the name of Jesus that Peter raised up a person who already dead because of uh, she was so spiritual that Tabitha, Tabitha died, but Peter, on the name of Jesus, command her rise from the dead. Just that, she rise up from the dead. And so many people believe. And here also, Jesus himself, offer himself as spiritual food, flesh, blood, and so many people could not open their heart in order to accept his words, turn away from the Lord. So for us, we do believe in God. We do believe that Jesus is the eternal food for us, offer his body and blood for our spiritual life, for eternal life. So we should learn from Peter saying the same thing, asking ourselves a question, to whom should we turn away if we turn away from Jesus, who have the word of eternal life? So therefore, brothers and sisters, God show us the way to the Father, and no one can come to the Father except to the Son, which is Jesus Christ. So therefore, Jesus is the, the bridge that connects us to the Father, that leads us to the Father. And with that, we also have the responsibility to bring this good news to proclaim to the world so that all of us can be saved and become one with God at the end of our time in the eternal happiness. Amen. Please rise. The response for us is, Lord, give us peace and joy. Lord, give us peace and joy. Christ is the bread of life. He will raise up on the last day all who share the table of his words and his body. In our joy, let us pray. Lord, give us peace and joy. Son of God, you will raise from the dead to lead us into life. Bless and sanctify to all the children of your Father. Lord, give us peace and joy. You give peace and joy to all who believe in you. Grant that we may walk as children of the light, rejoicing in your victory. Lord, give us peace and joy. Build up the faith of your pilgrim church on earth, that it may bear witness to your resurrection before the whole world. Lord, give us peace and joy. 
you suffered and so enter into the glory of the Father, change the tears of the sorrowful into joy. Lord, give us peace and joy. And we remember all the soul that we offer Mass today. Lord, give us peace and joy. God our Father, by the waters of baptism, you give new life to the faithful. May we who no succumbs to the influence of evil, but remain true in your gift of life. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Put up the earth and work up in hands. It become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fill up the wine and work it in hands. You become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attend the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yet more graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial lamb, who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Myron our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Antonio G. Silver, Vesiar Ignacio, Joseph, all the soul in Bukhatori. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from the trust, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. San Michael, the archangel, defends us in battle. Be our defense against the quicken that has snapped the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou so, Prince and the host, by the power of God, Thwach and Chehau Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl by the world, thick and drip souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed weekend to all of you. God bless.